With all the Broly movie hype and the new trailer that was recently just released, I think it's only appropriate that we showcase this man right here, right now. Of course, I'm talking about the OG STR Super Gogeta. And honestly, I truly believe that he is going to be the next Extreme Z Awakening announced on JP. Now, before we get into the actual gameplay, let's take a quick look at what this guy is all about. But I want you guys to keep in mind that he is a very very old unit so he's gonna be a little bit outdated and once he gets his extreme z awakening he's probably gonna be an absolute beast but at the time of this filming no easy a yet so slightly outdated passive leader skill all those things but he's still quite viable which you'll see in just a second and obviously when he was first released he was a freaking god man but anyways <laughs> first things first let's take a look at his stats and the first thing you'll notice is that he's got some stupid high stats man some of you watching right now would be like did he already get his Extreme Z Awakening, man? Is this a post-EZA showcase? Because those stats look like it, right? Those look like post-EZA stats. But no, these, these are his stats at level 120, Super Attack 10. Um, they're just really, really high for some reason. Look at that attack, 17,760, 17,750 HP, and 10,565 defense. Just imagine how crazy, how insane his stats will be once he gets Extreme Z Awakening with 20 extra levels of stats, man. It's going to be wild. I'm so excited, but... I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's move on to the leader skill. And like I said, quite outdated leader skill. Um, all types keep plus three, attack plus 3,000, which in today's meta is really nothing. Like, you're not going to be using him as a leader anytime soon until an AZA happens. Um, Soul Punisher causes immense damage to the enemy. His passive is Overwhelming Strike, attack plus 7,000, which is very low. Um, I believe if you convert it to like a percentage, it's something like somewhere between 10 to 20 percent so super super low and he also gets attacks effective against all types which is a big part of the reason why he's still viable the fact that his attacks are still effective against all types is still very very strong and only a few units have that passive in fact i believe they're all gogetas right so yeah um still really really good mechanic there his hidden potential skills i kind of i messed up a little bit i messed up a little bit not gonna lie so i went with 12 additional and 14 critical while i should have given him 15 additional and 11 critical because of the attacks effective against all types passive he actually does more damage with more additionals than criticals which is kind of counterintuitive right because most units you want to give them as much critical as possible but not with gogeta gogeta is a special case so if you guys have him and you don't have him duped out make sure to give him as much additional as possible and for his links he's got golden warrior super saiyan prepare for battle over in a flash fuse fighter and fierce battle which are amazing amazing links man he has some like basically all the best links in the game with the exception of golden warrior which is like okay but all the other links are amazing man so very very good link set and the only category he's currently in is fusion unfortunately hopefully he'll get more in the future but for the time being we're gonna do a fusion showcase and uh this is basically the same team i use with my super saiyan 3 gotenks showcase except i switched out the end gogeta for the str gogeta so <laughs> let's jump into it guys here we go we're gonna do the gogeta event first oh no what is that Okay, so that was super weird, but we reset the game and it looks like we're good now. So let's just let's just continue. Let's just continue. So we're taking on LR Gogeta with our LR Gogeta led team, which is pretty funny. But um, I think it's gonna be a good test of how good this guy can still perform against some of the harder, some of the more you know recent Dokkan events in this game. And if he does good damage here, then I think by all means he's still gonna be considered viable. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I I do think that he's still a viable. Cons Considering how old this card is, man, it's still amazing that he is a great sub in a lot of these teams. Like Fusions, of course, if you have Ink Gogeta, you'd rather use Ink Gogeta on Fusions. But for Super SDR, I think I would still consider him optimal on a Super SDR team. Um, and unfortunately, he is in the third rotation, as always is the case, man. This, this always happens. Every time I try to showcase a unit, every single freaking time, they always end up in the last rotation so we're not gonna see him for two turns um but i guess you get, get to see you guys get to see what my other fusion units can do which you already saw i guess if you look if you saw the physical super saiyan 3 go tank showcase from a couple days ago and like i always say man every time lr gogeta is in a video where i'm trying to showcase another unit so usually a fusion unit he always tries to take the spotlight man this guy won't let himself be outshined outshone outshone i don't know how do you say that word? I don't know. Out, outclassed by another unit. So uh, we're going to try to take the focus off him. So every time that I can let him not get a super off, 
LR Gogeta is not getting a super attack off because he's just gonna kill the, the boss too quickly, man. He does so much damage, he usually one shots most stages in the Ultimates. So, wait, I swear. Okay, no, I was like, yo, I swear I didn't get a super off with my Gogeta. No, it was that. It was the. The enemy Gogeta, there we go, there we go. I was so confused for a second, I was like, what is going on, man? Even when I try to not get a super off, he still gets a super off somehow. I gave him 9 key, and he still gets a super off. And of course, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is a beast as well, as you guys know, so... Yeah, um, let's try to get some nice damage out of our STR Gogeta before the boss dies. Um, who links better here? 106 and 106, okay, same thing. So, uh, I'm gonna put Gogeta at the end so he can be out of rotation, and then... Let's give him one orb here, get a super off. Um, super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's here as well, and uh, for LR Gogeta, I'm gonna give him these orbs, so no super from him. There we go, okay, let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Of course, we got a type advantage here, but then LR Gogeta also has um, boosted damage reduction, so... Ooh, that's not bad, that's actually not bad. One mil crit, one mil crit. Like I said, guys, the boss we're fighting, it is a very new event, right? It is one of the newer events, in at least on global. And for that reason, he's gonna have fairly high damage reduction. So the damage you see here is not gonna be representative of the damage you can see on some of the older events, maybe like you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku or even like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, some of those earlier, earlier events. He's gonna do way more damage on those. But I thought this was a good representation because, well, number one, we have type advantage, which is good, but at the same time, um, I just totally lost my train of thought. Totally, totally lost my train of thought. But at the same time, he does have good damage reduction, so the numbers aren't going to be too out of control. Uh, so yeah, that's why I feel like it's this is a good sign. This is a good, good sign that he can still do over a million damage here. And of course, he has quite a bit of critical and additional on his passive, so maybe we can see like a double attack or something like that, which would be really, really nice. If these other guys would just stop hitting so damn hard, man. Yo, guys, like Go Tanks, LR Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, guys, stop getting crits, stop getting additionals, I'm trying to showcase STR Gogeta right now. <laughs> but while we're doing this, while we're doing this, um, I do kind of want to talk about what we can expect as far as an EZA goes. And for those of you who are wondering, like, yo, Tiger, how are you so sure that we're getting an Extreme Z Awakening, right? How do you know that EZA or STR Gogeta is going to be the next Extreme Z Awakening? We haven't heard anything in the game, no one's really talked about it, but... The reason I think that it's gonna be, he's gonna be the next Extreme Z Awakening is that we just got the Janemba, the in Janemba Extreme Z Awakening announced, right? And usually when it comes to these things, man, they always want to put Gogeta and Janemba together because it makes sense, man. They always re are released together. They are, um, you know, they're, they're rivals, right? <laughs> they, they fought each other in the actual movie. So it just makes sense that the next, logically, it just makes sense that the next Extreme Z Awakening after in Janemba would be. SDR Gogeta. That, that's literally all I have in terms of information. That's all I'm basing this off of. I'm pretty confident about this prediction, guys. I'm pretty, pretty confident. So expect an easy A Super Gogeta. I mean, at the time of this filming, he doesn't have one yet, but yo, in the future, like maybe in the next couple months, if you're watching this a little bit in the future, like <laughs> he might already have an easy A. That's how confident I am that it's happening. And uh, I think it's gonna be soon as well. I think it's gonna be really, really soon. Now, we just did the Gogeta event. Why don't we do another... It's good that we're, it's physical day because we have a lot of good physical events to uh, choose from. So let's do the 17 event now. Again, I like to showcase these units on newer events because it's a better representation of what, he, what they can do against the current meta. Here we go. Awesome. Uh, but getting back to what I was talking about, what I think the STR Gogeta EZA is going to look like. Here's the thing, because his stats are so freaking high, like he has so much attack, he actually doesn't need that big of a boost on his passive to do insane amounts of damage and possibly even overtake in Gogeta as far as damage output goes. And I know some of you guys are like, yo, there's no way they would do that, man, because in Gogeta is a is like way newer and he is a 120 lead and they wouldn't want him, like the STR Gogeta to out damage the in Gogeta, but I mean, that's what I thought too. That's what I thought in the beginning. Initially when... I saw the first easy few easy A's, I'm like, okay, they're good, right? They're good, but they're not like super OP. And I feel like, yeah, they don't want to make these guys way you know like stronger than the newer units. But then, but then I saw like some of the some of the more recent easy A's. I'm like, yo, Cell is freaking bonkers. Um the SSJ J3 Vegeta looks crazy. Uh what else? Like like all the easy easy A's recently, the Kid Boo is great as well, like a, one of the best support units in the game. So I'm like they're really not too scared to make these guys really, really strong, right? So, I think it's possible. I really think it's possible they can make 
STR Gogeta post Extreme Z Awakening, even stronger than Int Gogeta. And then eventually, obviously, when we get to that point, they'll give Int Gogeta, Int Super Gogeta, and EZA as well. And of course, he'll be stronger than STR Gogeta again. But when STR Gogeta first initially gets his Extreme Z Awakening, I think that he could very well do more damage than Int Gogeta. Now, I don't know. Like, I'm just, it's just a prediction. Everything is speculation at this point, but I definitely think it's possible. And the, well, getting back to what I was saying about how he has so, so high attack, let's say this guy gets over 20,000 attack once he gets his, his Extreme Z Awakening at rainbow status. Right? Once he's rainbowed um, with the Extreme Z Awakening, he has over 20,000 attack. That's like LR stats, guys. That is like LR stats. He will have as much, if not more, attack than LR Gogeta rainbowed. LR Gogeta rainbowed right now has just over 20,000 attack. Um, I, I can check it right now, actually, but but it doesn't matter. Like, he has just over 20,000 attack, and, like, I totally see, you know, STR Gogeta having somewhere around there, maybe 19,000, maybe over 20,000, and with that high of an attack stat, he doesn't need that high of a passive attack boost to do crazy amounts of damage. Like, I, I totally see, like, it could just be something very mediocre, like, 60% attack on his passive or 70% at highest maybe 80 to 90% I don't see it going to 100 or over because that would just be way too broken his attack stat is way too high for him to get that much of a boost and as I said earlier in this showcase guys he currently only has 7,000 attack on his passive he only gets 7,000 flat boost which if you convert it to a percentage is like 20% or something like that I don't exactly know how the numbers work but someone told me and I believe it was mobile man or someone with like the mathematical prowess, right? Was like, it's like 10 to 20%. So I'm like, okay, so if he's only getting 20% on his passive and he's already doing over a million damage still um, in this current meta, then like he doesn't need that much of a boost. Like how much of a boost can he really get um, to not make him too overpowered, right? So we're gonna put that on a hold for a second. Let's use a Deburo cookie. Cause I wanna see uh, if we can push some like, you know, nice damage out of him. That's not too bad. Let's use another one. Let's, let's just use two. Let's see if we can get the whole board. Uh, please change a few. Yes. Awesome. There we go. And we're going to take it one step further and use a World Tournament Announcer for that extra 30% attack. And of course, we already got the 30% from the Pandel. And let's just pop it, guys. I think this one this one is better. Here we go. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Now, this is not a full sh no nuke showcase. I, if you guys have seen my other showcases before, I don't really do like legit nuke showcases because if I wanted to, I could have brought two um, nuke leads, like two SSJ3 GT Gokus, right? But this is just for fun, really. I bring a Deborah cookie just so that we can see some nice numbers, but it's not like a legit nuke showcase per se, right? That's not bad. 1.6 mil, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's, that's, a, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. To see that kind of number, or those kind of numbers from a year and a half to two year old like i said i don't remember exactly when he was released but very very ancient unit like this str gogeta is very very refreshing man it, it's it makes me happy it really makes me happy he was one of the first one of the first dog office units i ever rainbowed so he definitely has a special place in my heart for sure and he is the unit that i've wanted an extreme z awakening from Ever since I heard about Extreme Z Awakenings being a thing, man. Ever since I heard about SSJ3 AGL Goku getting his in the Extreme, Z Awakening, uh, Extreme Z Awakening, even before the event actually came out, I was like, yo, when is STR Gogeta getting, getting one, though? When is STR Gogeta getting his Extreme Z Awakening? And they've been waiting, making us wait so freaking long. And I understand, man. He's still quite viable, as you can see. Like, he still does really good damage. But at the same time, like... Physical full power cell, not not cell, a uh, full power Frieza already got Extreme Z Awakening, and that guy was already mad powerful before that EZA, man. Even before that EZA, he was doing 1.5, 2 million damage consistently. So, I mean, if if Frieza, who came out, wait, is it around the same time or after? I don't, I don't remember now. Okay, I don't remember if Gogeta came out first or full power Frieza came out first, um, but like. I'm just saying that the Frieza was already doing mad damage, or he was doing crazy damage, and he could get an Extreme Z Awakening, then there's no reason why STR Gogeta has to wait so long. But you know what? I bet the wait is gonna be worth the the wait is gonna be worth the wait, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's not not very eloquent of me, I'm sorry, but um, I guess it's gonna be worth the wait because the longer that they make us wait for this Extreme Z Awakening for STR Gogeta, 
the stronger it's gonna be. That's how it works, right? The longer we wait, the more powerful a unit will be once they get a new awakening or a rebirth. Um, so, so that's why, like, I'm not too mad when there's some units out there right now that haven't gotten even like a like a regular Dokkan awakening and a, a rebirth yet, right? But it's fine because the longer they make us wait, for example, like the Int Kid Goten or uh, Tech Kid Trunks, the longer they make us wait, the stronger they'll be because there's gonna be the power creep and the meta is gonna be moving towards a like like bigger buffs and stuff like that. So. You know, if we have to wait another six months, then Gogeta's gonna be even better the the, the longer we have to wait. So, yeah, that's, that's all I was trying to say. Gogeta, LR Gogeta, always trying to take the spotlight, come in with the fusion. Ah, oh, man. I mean, I'm, I, I can't be too upset about it. I really can't be too upset, upset about it. So, what we're gonna do is we still wanna try to showcase the STR Gogeta. So, let's uh, give him these orbs here. And then, can we get a. Yeah, we can. Okay, we can get, get a. Full 24 key super from the LR Goji. That's gonna be sick. It's probably gonna finish him off. I'm, I'm guessing gonna finish him off. So we're gonna see the old S. This guy's actually kind of cool. We're gonna see STR Gogeta do his attack, and then the brand new newest Gogeta is gonna do his ultimate attack. 3.7 million, 3.7 million stat, and what's it gonna hit for? That's beautiful, man. Absolutely gorgeous. 2.2 mil, no crit. I'll take it. That's awesome. Okay, there you go, guys. So <laughs> that's pretty much going to do it for my uh, STR Gogeta showcase. I don't want to go too long, and we're already running around like 20 minutes or so. I just want to give you guys an idea of how good this guy can still be. And as you can see, he's still very viable, man. That damage output is nothing to scoff at. Of course, he's not nearly um, as godly. He's not at like the tier that he used to be when he was first released. But like I said, when he first came out, man, this guy was... Friggin', he was like the strongest unit in the game when he first came out, went and rightfully so, right? But with the uh, movie Broly Celebration coming very soon, and I don't want to give any spoilers, but another hype unit is probably coming with him. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a big resurgence for our boy Gogeta. I mean, I guess I just gave it away. I'm sorry, guys. Gogeta Blue is coming. I can't hold it in anymore. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyways, um, I hope that with that coming, that we'll also get an announcement for the STR EZA, or STR Gogeta EZA as well, and I think it's going to be very good. That leader skill is probably going to be still an all types leader skill, I'm going to guess like plus three key to all types and somewhere around 70 to 90%, which will be very good. He would have basically all the LRs. Um, all the OG, OG 5 LRs at least, leader skills in one, all types, key plus 3, attack, HP attack defense plus 90% would be insane. Be one of the, you, you would be probably the best rainbow leader in the game aside from the LR 1000 day Goku, who, which a lot of people are not going to get anytime soon, right? And as far as his passive goes, probably immense damage with like massively lowers enemy's defense. Uh, passive, like I said, 60 to 90% attack plus, again, effective against all types. That's, they're going to keep that, obviously. And he's gonna be great, man. 20,000 attack, probably something or somewhere around 20,000 HP, maybe 13 to 40,000 defense. Mad, mad broken stats. Like, that's gonna be wild. I can't wait. Of course, I'm gonna do a showcase for you guys as soon as this is announced, or as soon as it comes out. I'm gonna do a stream for the actual farming of the medals, and then I'll do a showcase for you guys, do an update to this once all of that is a thing. But for the time being, this is the STR Super Gogeta, the OG Gogeta of Dokkan. He is still very good. I love this unit, one of my favorite units in the entire game. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this unit right now, and also what do you think his Extreme Z Awakening is going to look like, what his stats are going to look like, what his uh, passive, his leader skill, his super attack, all those things are going to look like once he gets an Extreme Z Awakening. But that's going to do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. While you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. And I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.